All right, so let's get in and actually start recording some MIDI, shall we? So the first method I'm gonna show you is the old school method before Pro Tools introduced instrument tracks. There was a way we had to set up MIDI using auxiliary and MIDI tracks. The reason why I'm gonna show you this way is because give you a little bit of background about MIDI and how MIDI works within Pro Tools. Good thing to know because there's, you may find situations where you're gonna run into this still. So first thing we're gonna do is create two new tracks. So so shift command N, or of course you can always go to track and new. You can select a stereo auxiliary. Let's create one more track and we're going to make this a MIDI track. Create, Let's expand the view. All right, so we see that we've got a MIDI track and an auxiliary track. In a few chapters ago, we already talked about the MIDI track and how the MIDI track does not have any inserts or any sends because it's purely just a data track. It just sends MIDI messages, does not have any audio or transmit any audio. So since we've already talked about that, let's look at a few other things that may be new to you as far as the MIDI is concerned or the MIDI track is concerned. You'll see here a piano roll, and that's to signify that this is a MIDI track. If we go over here, go to the drop down and select notes, this piano roll turns out into a piano roll grid, and here is where we, we can record or step input sequence information and what notes are gonna be triggered. Here we have the input of the MIDI track and the output. The input is actually gonna be whatever controllers we have connected to our system we'll be able to assign from here. I have predefined these inputs for my audio interfaces as well as my USB keyboard. If you select all, that just essentially tells this MIDI channel that any connected device can trigger this particular track. We have all and we have the predefined, all the interfaces. I'm gonna to go to my USB port. Now, if you're new to MIDI and new to the theories of MIDI, you'll see that we have one to 16 channels. Basically what this means is that one channel can have a program of, let's say piano. The second channel can have a program of say bass. Third can be a flute four can be strings. Basically, all of these different sounds from this different module can be voiced over these different channels, and they all send a variety of different messages. I'm going to leave it to all. Now, currently, we can't select the MIDI track output because we haven't defined an instrument just yet. What we need to do is go up to the auxiliary that we created, and we're going to select Boom. That's Avid's drum machine. Now that we've instantiated boom, we should be able to have it here as our output. So to reiterate, our Axiom keyboard is gonna trigger this track and essentially it's gonna be triggering boom. So there it is. I'm just triggering the first preset that pops up with boom right now. But in the next chapter, we're going to get in a little bit more detail.